Hey guys, Hovland Horatio here. It's the uh, 20, it was it? No, 14th of May, 2022. And uh, we're having kind of a gloomy day today. Uh, it's it's not real hot though. We got a slight breeze, but a lot of cloud cover today. Spitting rain here and there. But uh, I'm still hobbling around on this knee. I had uh, the first day, it was pretty bad. Uh, I hyperextended it, slipping on some water on the steps. And then uh, that night I put, uh, Wes had given us some Arnica cream, and I took some of those Arnica, Arnica tablets. The next morning I woke up. It was a little crispy, but it was good. I was able to navigate on it without too much trouble. And then last night, I not bad at all, so I didn't put any Arnica or take any of that, and I got up this morning and <laughs> relapsed. So I was really hobbling. That's why I'm sitting in here. Was walking it off a little bit today. We had some running around to do, lots of traffic, so it was you know that doesn't help it at all. But we got our we got our chores done. Uh, there is something I I wonder about if you any Filipinos are on here and know anyone at the LTO. Uh, we just had to get our cars do the uh, smog test. They call it smoke belching here, and. You know, I had to do my bikes in the past, and then uh, this bike here, it, it's coming up here in a, a month or so, I gotta go get it done, this brand new bike I got that's running fine. But yet, you get behind these tricycles that are just billowing smoke. Uh, they're all beat up and smoky. How do they get through the, the smoke belching? I don't get that. I did see one time when I was in Montenlupa when I had the rouser, and the guy was billowing smoke because they film it. They, they film the back of your car and they just shut his motor off. <laughs> but to me, that's just, it's just ridiculous. You know, what's, it's just a tax. I don't think they, that they really care that these guys are out there. Uh, we got behind a tricycle. And it was really funny how it happened. I wanted to back away from him. Traffic was really bad. We had the uh, air conditioner. Uh, so it was circulating inside the car and we were still smelling this guy and I was going to just lay back and let him go well then he put on his left turn signal so I thought okay cool he's going to be turning he, he uses his arm because none of his lights were working actually and he turned in well when he turned in the tricycle from in the station pulled out and he was the same kind you know one of these old 40 year old Smokies that you see running around here so that's just the way that goes but uh we got uh birthday boy coming up here pretty soon i want to show you his oh, let me get outside here i want to show you his uh his new machine we got and uh it's uh pretty nice i got him one that was a little simpler than the others uh the company i got it from uh on lazada they had a really good measurement thing where you measured you took a bunch of measurements off the kid and sure enough it got a good size this and it has just one speed for him uh, the brakes are real easy to pull and he knows how to use them now what I want to do is I have that extension for here I didn't get the handlebars that bent up I thought they'd be too high I probably should have got them but I'll take that arm that I have and I'll, I want to raise this up for him a little bit uh, he took to it uh, he had his his uh, little tiny machine that had no pedals that he raced around on we give it to the neighbor and uh, he jumped on this thing it took him a while it took him I don't know 10 12 minutes and then before you know it he's riding down the street uh, I'm making him wear his hat when he goes uh, because he you know he's always been one to look the other way when he's riding instead of where he's going uh, Maddie and Dorothy are both uh, really good about riding the bikes but yesterday we took a huge uh trip all of us on the bike we went to the guard shack and then we zigzagged through all the streets and he, and he wouldn't quit uh even though we were it's all uphill coming back and uh he just kept he just kept on pumping and the gear on it's not as low as uh you know the other kids they got the seven speed and i got a seven speed on mine phase i think she's got an 18 speed but uh he did really good uh he's doing fantastic uh it's just he he likes to even when we're going downhill he thinks he's got to pedal as fast as he can <laughs> so, uh, yep. so but yeah uh, he's my little he's my little buddy and i'm glad we got him a nice machine it looks like it's uh made pretty well good welds on it 
plastic little grip things on there so if those ever go bad I'll just replace them with some good metal ones uh, I went ahead and did tight good thing I checked all the bolts on it because uh, the front wheel bolt was loose you know, it was pretty much put together you just got to put the handlebars on they gave me cables that were a mile long so it's gonna be no problem to raise it up for him because he's kind of leaned over right now so I want to get him more so it's comfortable and uh, I, I got my bike, I raised the handlebars up on mine so I'm not leaning. So it's, it's a lot more comfortable now. And uh, that's one thing we do love to do around here. Uh, if we make the move to Mindoro, uh, there's, it's gravel roads. So they'll still be able to ride because we didn't get the real skinny tires or anything like that. Now my sweetie and I, we've been, uh, we've been going back and forth on what we want to do with our, we call it our little farm. Uh, we're going to be having the uh, like four durian trees along the back. Uh, we want a couple of uh, dwarf coconuts. I want papaya because I love them dang things. I uh, want jackfruit. I like to have a couple of them. And, uh, you know, some malungai. Uh, we eat a lot of that. So, you know, we want to do that. But the, the main thing we were talking about, we want to get the septic in. And then I want to build a bathhouse. And the way I want to do this bathhouse is I'd like to go at least... Oh, 10 by 15 or maybe even 20 and then put put a bathroom uh, toilet inside and then I'd like to put some steps up up on the side and in there just another pier for somebody outside if they got to go put a little door on it like under the steps but I'd like to build this thing up tall enough for me to get in so I can put some cabinets up in there uh, make it a bathhouse put a shower with an insta hot have the electric in there and then I'd like to have a concrete roof so we can make a deck put a fence around it so we could sit up there in the evenings uh, if we just want to sit and, and look around or maybe drink a beer or something and uh, not planning on doing anything with TV or anything uh, I, there's not much of a signal out that way and that's fine with me there's there's too much other stuff to be doing so that that's what I'd like to do with that put a good steel door on it and that way We'll get a Cobo house built. We want to put that up front so that when we're not there, the, the guy who sold us the land, it's right where the water is and right where his, his line is. So that way they can kind of keep an eye on it. And then when, when we leave, we can take all our stuff because we're going to want to bring dishes and bed clothes and all that. We can put it in the, in the bathhouse, in the cupboards in there, and then I can lock it all up. And I'd like to have it tiled real nice and all that. That's going to be the, the main thing I want to get done first, even before the Cobo house. Because if we go there, we can always stay in the tent. You know, we, we do that. You know, we won't go down in the rainy season, but we'll uh, we'll go there in the tent and try to get things cleaned up. So that that's our big plan on that one. Uh, also see on the channel, we got a lot of, a lot of new subscribers. Uh, that's really cool. Thanks, guys, for uh, subscribing and checking out the channel. Uh, I did the Manduro trip. It's I think it's Manduro Day One is one of the first ones, and uh, it's country life. It's more what I what I'm into. Uh, now tomorrow we're gonna do a live at 7 a.m. Philippine time, and uh, I got the laptop from from Wes. Uh, he gave me a, a smoking deal on it. Uh, it works great. I mean, uh, he, he cleaned it out, brought it back to zero. I got the thing. I did put Telegram on there. Uh, that that seems to be working uh, pretty good. Now I got a, uh, And I talked to a lot of my buddies in the States on the Telegram. Uh, it's got, just like Messenger, you can do the video call and all that kind of stuff. So that, that's really cool. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a picture in here at the very end. There's fake Telegram. Uh, like if you go to the Play Store, you need to go straight into a browser. I did install the Brave browser on that computer. I'm not putting a lot of stuff on there. I did put the uh, YouTube on there. And I put the YouTube Studio. And I was amazed when I opened up the YouTube Studio how much stuff it had. You know, I can't see all that stuff on the phone. And uh, this was just really neat the way it was. Um, and pretty cool. I, I, I really liked it. I got a laptop now. I'll be using that tomorrow for the live. And, and Wes, thanks again for giving me a smoking deal on that dang thing. I'm really happy about that. Uh, he might be moving out here pretty soon out of the Philippines and we're going to hate to see him go because uh, he's he's really been a uh, him and Ami have been a gift uh, 
for us. Just uh, super nice people. I've, I've met some uh, great people through this channel. It's unbelievable. Tropical Tim, uh, Mark Rollins, uh, and there's some guys too. I got uh, Ronald Bowen from uh, Arkansas, and I got uh, um, James Owens from uh, the Carolinas. You know, those guys might be coming soon. I sure would like to see them. I've uh, been going back and forth with them on the uh, through the channel and then through uh, Messenger and all this stuff. And just, just, I know they're nice people. You know, they're just, they're super people. I'm looking forward to meeting them. There's some other folks that uh, from the channel want to want to meet us. One fellow wants to meet us up for coffee up here. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll come in and say hi. You know, welcome you to the Philippines. Um, you know, there's still people want to retire. Uh, I did get some uh, messages from there. It seems to be a lot of longtime uh, expats that were here have left. Uh, they're they're afraid of what's uh, coming down the pike, and they're they're bailing. Uh, I hope we don't have to do that. Uh, my mentality is where you're going to run. You know, I look at the clown show going on in the USA, and look at what they're doing. Yeah. They're uh, they're making food shortages. You know. <laughs> All of a sudden, we got all these fires of processing plants. They, uh, the FDA came in and said, "Oh, these 30 million chickens got this, and they got to kill them all." You know, come on, this is a baloney. Then now we got the the baby formula shortage that they're giving what they got to the to the uh, border crossers on the south, southern border, and. Uh, Actually, I honestly think it's a good thing for the American people. If if a woman, uh, I personally think they should breastfeed. These kids were all breastfeed. My other kids were breastfed. Now uh, they come out better. But if for some reason a woman can't breastfeed, uh, you know, I even know girls who go to work. They they pump it. They they pump the stuff out so their kids get the milk. And here they're really big on that. Uh, but the the formula. Read the labels, guys. I mean, holy cow, I read all the labels in here, and, and just when we were out the store the other day, I stopped because of all this baby formula, and they sell it, they got four or five different brands here, and plenty on the shelves here. I picked up the boxes and was reading this, and my goodness, I don't even know what half of that stuff is. I don't want it in my baby. I would never, never want to give a baby that. And uh, a lot of it's high fructose corn syrup, guys, and they give it all kinds of different names, but um, there was one, one person put a thing on Telegram about the... Uh, how to make a baby formula and one of the things she was saying dump caro syrup in it and i'm like i just shook my head and i, I made an answer and i guess she come back and didn't like my didn't like my answer but a whole bunch of other people jumped on it and uh they they just nailed her why would you give that you know that that's diabetes in a bottle i mean you i i don't want to give anything like that it, we don't even buy syrups like the syrups we can't get real maple syrup like i used to buy in the states super expensive but worth it so if we have pancakes or something my beautiful little sweetie made pancakes all by herself this morning i didn't touch a thing other than i started showed her how to put the fire on the stove and then we used the ghee and all that and uh she made the pancakes and we put honey on them butter real butter no margarine and honey and uh maddie doesn't like honey he just likes the butter dorothy just likes the butter moo moo and me we like a little bit of honey on there and of course i had some eggs with that and she made she did it all herself she made the whole breakfast herself which i was you know she's she's turning out she she loves to cook uh when i was a real little kid i used to uh, hang with my mom in the kitchen and help her cook all the time uh, i always loved it those were some of my best memories cooking with my mom and then uh now i got my little dolly Whenever I'm in that kitchen, she's right there wanting to help. And uh, I'm hoping we're making her a lot of fantastic memories in that kitchen. So she got her dolly today, yeah. huh? I just bathed her. Yeah, she bathed her dolly all up. We're going to take her swimming pretty soon. Uh, we were we were doing the fish tank today. It was getting a little bit crunchy, but we, we cleaned it up a little bit. We had to get another tank because uh, they pulled on the tank a little bit. And it, popped the seal down in the bottom so it was seeping and then when I went to the store this one was bigger I didn't realize it was bigger but uh, we got another tank a couple more fish uh, while we were gone our neighbor was uh, uh, feeding the fish for us and the dang uh, 
fish, one of the goldfish died and all we found was the skeleton and some of the black ones got ate, so I don't know what happened. They said the goldfish would be okay in there, but I do notice that goldfish, he pecks at those little black fish and we had five or six of them in there, now we got two. So I think the goldfish is eating them and uh, some of the fish are kind of hiding. <laughs> so I think that uh, that goldfish, he's a killer. But uh, Maddie likes his little tank. We cleaned it up today, uh, you know, Got to keep maintenance on them dang things. Uh, got to got to keep the water real clean. Uh, we even use the uh, reverse osmosis to fill the tank. Uh, you know they got stuff you can use tap water and then drop. Is I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then we got we got some food. Food's real cheap here. Uh, the tank was 600 pesos for that tank. I don't know how many gallon that is. I think it's a 20 liter, something like that, or 22 liter. And uh, Nice, nice tank. Uh, the kids like the fish. I like the tank. Uh, you know, I just hope this one don't leak. The kids, I got them to where they just don't touch it. And uh, Maddie feeds his fish, so that was his birthday present. Um, I'm really happy when I can give a present that somebody really likes. He loves it. Mumu got his bike. He's using the heck out of it. I think he must have put about 20 miles on it yesterday, up and down the street. <laughs> and he's got the hang of the brakes. That's what I'm really happy of. Uh, because on his scooter bike, I always sweated that when he go racing down the hill because he mumu has got to go as fast as he can go he that's just his nature he's <laughs> when i was young when i was on the bike that was me too as fast as i could go but uh he's got the brakes down and he knows how to use them i'm glad these are really easy to pull i'm gonna make sure i keep uh, uh keep the cables greased up real good i noticed that here a lot of people never do maintenance on their cables that's one thing you need to do is i always just get the spray with that little stick Pull the cable loose and stick that in there and spray it till it comes out the bottom and wipe it up. I used to use lithium in mine. Here I got some WD-40 that'll keep the rust out anyway, but uh, uh, I'm keeping my eye out. There's um, next Lozada order. I'm going to get some of that uh, white lithium to spray in there because then you don't got to bother with it only every few months where the WD-40, you got to do it, you know, pretty quick. With, I'd say within a month or two because it starts it dries up and so it's not so good <clears throat> but we're having a pretty good day uh, I have been playing around on the computer more probably more than I should but I'm um, getting getting the hang of it again it's been been a long time since I had a laptop and the one cool thing that uh, when I had a computer before for a short time it had that little pad on there where you just move your finger on it to make the arrow go and this one's not adjusted right it doesn't move it as fast or anything well Wes got one of those uh, little cordless mouse and boy does that make it nice plus it's got a cooling fan it's got a cooling fan built into the computer but he got an extra one that sets it up off the table on a nice angle and it blows up into that so I was pretty pretty happy about that and it uh I did run it a little bit last night without the the cooling fan thing on. Yeah, it got pretty warm. So today when I was trying it this morning and, and working on getting the stuff, uh, it did it did pretty good. It, it When I was all done with it, I put my hand on it. It wasn't hot at all. So that fan really helped out a lot. I'm not going to put a lot of stuff on that computer. Like I say, I just put the YouTube and the YouTube Studio and I put Telegram on there and Brave Browser. And I'm not going to put any kind of Facebook or anything. Uh, Wes already had a lot of that stuff disabled. The Google and all that. It kept asking me if I want to do Chrome. And I'm, nope. Uh, I just use that Brave Browser. And... Uh, it works it works really good and it it shows you when it knocks stuff out it tries to hit you with all these ads i think this morning when i was monkeying with it i was looking up a couple things i was talking to my brother on the phone and i was looking up some uh firearms and getting pictures and stuff it knocked 19 different ads and stuff that was trying to get into the computer it, it blocked them so that was really cool and i got it on the maximum blocking so I, I really like that browser and I love the telegram guys if you could get to my page I do have at the end of this in the about section a way to link up to that and I have a uh, my own little channel on there that's called new everybody 
and that guy right there you can uh, I, I find really good news bits uh, I don't know why I always wake up between 2 30 and 3 just like I did when I was young now I guess that's never going to change uh, I even got to bed late last night and still still popped up at right around 3 and I always uh, get on the phone and I'll I'll turn the phone on and I start going through that and going through the different news of the day you know, I'm, I'm going through the, the cloud show in the U.S. Gosh dang, guys. They're, they're, they're trying to destroy it. Uh, they're trying to destroy the money. That inflation is a tax. They just keep printing money and spending it, and we're the ones who are paying for it. And personally, myself, I don't think we should have anything to do with Ukraine. That's their bag. That's their money laundry, these elites in our country. And they're trying to cover their own butts is exactly what that's all about they're showing this little tiny country in europe if you look at the picture it's a little speck of a country and that's that's brought the whole world to its knees that's a big pile of crap they're deliberately destroying the the supply chains and all these things and now you're seeing these fires you know that they, they've had these planes that could they got like a super laser magnifying glass and they could start fires all over you look at in california when they burnt neighborhoods out one house would be burnt completely burnt to the ground next was still standing and you know they're saying it's a wildfire baloney that was a controlled burn you know and now this last one somebody said oprah winfrey's house got in wonder how much insurance she gets for that and how much is she in on that you know she's one of these uh pedo pedo you know what's uh, you know these these guys are all into some serious stuff that's starting to come to light now it's what we do with it you know they make a big fuss about January 6th they keep calling an insurrection what a joke insurrection is where they go in and wipe them people out nobody got wiped out one of them guys shot some poor lady if it really happened you never know with this news but uh, just crazy stuff and then the, all the stuff about the election and uh you know they say this is you know this is going to change soon and this stuff in the supreme court this is just a ruse with the road versus wade because they're going to come down and overturn election blah 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 it would that be nice yeah should it happen yeah i think so but i always say that it's like george carlin it's a big club and we ain't in it and i don't care what color you are red or blue it just seems to me they always get what they want and there's always the few red ones that'll go the wrong way against the will of the people because it's a representative republic and they just do what they want and they're all millionaires they're all taking cuts from this stuff this 40 billion that's supposed to go to ukraine that's that ukraine that's nothing but a big slush fund guys there's going to be huge kickbacks coming back on that you look at biden's son with burisma Come on, that guy's a crackhead for crying out loud. And then his uh, aunt gets on there and says, oh, he's such a smart boy, oh, and they're trying to make all this baloney. Why are they picking up the news on this chick? Why don't they put some real news out there, what's, what's really going on? And it seems awful funny, every time there's a Pfizer dump, there's some kind of big news thing hits the airwaves. <laughs> <laughs> you know to try it so people don't look at this thing and they're still pushing it they're still pushing you to get this dang thing their heads should be rolling guys on this stuff heads should be rolling and anybody who who even slightly looks into this should be saying my goodness and uh you know the the things that we should know about are being covered up by this news media i put a thing on my telegram page you guys need to get over there and look at some of this stuff uh the way you got to do it is once you join in my about section there's a phone number you try to find me at rickshaw uh philippines if you can't find it that way because a lot of people can't i put a phone number in there hang on guys i put a phone number there and that's everybody's been able to find me through the phone number and then you have to send me a message and then when i get when i get you on there then i'm going to put you on my new everybody uh site that i got and there's there's some really interesting stuff i found out and i put it on there i can't talk about all of it there's just so dang much uh i did put i started putting stuff on my youtube channel not my youtube but my uh facebook channel on the one phone i put that on there and they cut me off and i contested it but for i think seven or eight days something like that i was completely cut off and they cut off both of them 
so they didn't like the stuff I put out and it was all stuff from doctors the only things I put over there were you know these doctors they would they'd come out and they'd say something about what was going on with the Star Trek phaser and all this stuff and I would look him up okay here's this guy punch it in I'd go into the brave browser punch this guy in and look for him and sure enough yeah he's this uh, works at this big university hospital blah 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 okay he's a real dude and they have pictures of him so those are the ones I put up on there so it was credible stuff but they didn't like it and, uh, they did not like it at all so and a lot of the stuff I still put up there was one on there I put up uh, well two of them of uh, Obama and it was just his speech. I didn't make any comments about it or nothing. I just put his speech up. And they said, our fact checkers checked this and it was out of context. Oh, baloney. You know, the man made a statement. Uh, he said, we're, we're just too feeble uh, and to, to handle our own affairs. You know, he came right out and said it. So, you know, it's the one world order crowd, guys. That's, they they want to rule the world. They make no bones about it. You know, you look at stuff that was going on 20 years ago, they were talking about this. And look at Gates. Oh, they're going to do this new uh, the rock band, The Who. Uh, they're going to do this uh, big thing coming up, this vote. And these countries go for it because if they don't, uh, they're going to screw with their currency and really mess them up and put a hurting on them. So, you know, that could, that could be... Maybe they could not do it and mess up the currencies all over the world. They're trying to just get everything destroyed. They want to make this stuff where you lose your sovereignty and you got to get these dang things. And I'm telling you, there's, there's folks that are getting these things that are having problems. And they're also, there's a lot of them, they're pushing up daisies. But the, the media, that one, there, one lady that did the uh, article about the media and who owns it and what groups own it, guys you hear the same stuff the talking heads they just keep saying the same thing when they when one talks about it all over the country they're talking about the same stuff it's a script they're nothing but actors and they're not news media anymore they're paid actors that's all they are so that's the way it goes and i'm going to go ahead and let you go and what's my little buddy going to say all right my other little one he's they're going out to ride the bikes i hear him hollering now he's all excited it's not raining so he's going to ride his bike so i'm gonna let you go guys and this is rick shaw out.